I'm now going to move on and speak to you very briefly about the issues of culture. The rest of the world would have known very little about Bob Marley if it was not for reggae music. The rest of the world would have known very little about reggae music. The rest of the world would have known very little about Jamaica without Bob Marley. We need to recognize the importance of culture as, an, as a product, as, as part of our, our, our diversification of our economy. We need to protect and preserve what is uniquely Angola. In 1976, 1977, I recall Clement Banks, Banky Banks, you know what I Banky Banks, Clement Banks, going to many, many businesses on this island trying to get assistance to launch his first album. You can ask Banky that story yourself. It turned out that who ended up financing Banky was the owner of Scorpio's Disco in St. Martin. And that's how Banky's first album was released. Banky Banks. If Banky Banks had been given support in this country, Bob Marley would have been seriously challenged. In 1978, in 1978, Bob Marley flew from Miami. I'm not sure how many of you know this. He flew from Miami and he was in St. Martin. And when he was going back on the plane, what did he have in his hand? Banky's album. Banky's album. Bob Marley took Banky's album on the plane with him. He saw Banky as a real threat. But what we didn't see, we did not see Banky as a real product. We did not see Banky as a real product. And there's lots of talent in this island. A lot, a lot of talent in this island. I remember as a little boy, I saw Terry somewhere around there. I saw Terry playing a guitar behind his back. I've never seen that done anywhere else in the world, and I've traveled all over the world. Terry was able, maybe still is able, to play a guitar, a lead guitar, behind his back. That's real talent. But we don't protect and preserve our talent. What we do, we call each other down, we stand on each other's throats, and we try to crush each other. If we are gonna move this country forward, we gotta value every treasure of this island. You are our best assets, not the roads. The human, the human capacity is what is important to developing this country.